everyone. I'm Sherry Criswell, an independent designer for Talk Tour. Today I'm working on a buffalo plaid pillow. And the trick being, I'm going to get the buffalo plaid inside the hello. So let's get going. Okay, I'm just showing you the mat that I have underneath the pillowcase. It acts as a blotter to keep the ink from bleeding through. And also, it, it's a little bit sticky and it keeps the fabric in place and it smooths out the wrinkles. Now, both of my transfers I'm using are big transfers, so I take off the backing like this to prevent it sticking on itself. So once I get this all placed on the fabric, I just put my black um, velvet paste on it. This is the first step. You want to get the base down on the hello. So I use the, the big handled squeegee, or big daddy squeegee as I call it, and just spread off the ink all over the place. It is going on fabric, so it takes a little bit longer, kind of soaks it in. <clears throat> So just like paste, same with ink, you apply the ink on with your squeegee, take off the excess, smooth out the lines, and then we're going to take the transfer off. Beautiful impression every time. So you're going to let this dry before you go on step two. I let it dry overnight, um, but you can hurry it up with a heat gun if you want to. So the second step, I put the mini buffalo plaid transfer on first over the hello. And then I took my hello and because you can see through on the netting, you can place this back to where you had it before with the black. So you get that on good and then I took my bright white Chalkology ink. This is all ink. I started out with the big handle squeegee but ended up changing it to the angle squeegee. It just worked better for me. And you just apply it. Just squeegee it on, smooth it out, take off the excess, and put them all back in the jar. This ink and paste will last you a long time even if you do this every day, which I almost do. I'm addicted. All right, look at that. Is that not a cool technique? I love it. My only dilemma was, where should I put this? My family room or my living room? I think it's so cool. And it turned out really, really nice. A fun technique and not that hard. Don't you want to try it? <laughs> 